Okay, so a lot of my Commodore 64 or Commodore subscribers are going to really like this one today. I'm going to be doing a complete setup guide on something called Game Base 64. So what is Game Base 64? It's pretty much a front end for Commodore 64 games. So what we're going to do with this setup guide today is go through which files you need for Game Base 64 and we're also going to be showing you how to set up an emulator which is compatible with this front end system and the really good thing is with Game Base 64 is that we can download a pack of images to actually bring your files to life so I'm going to go through everything in this setup guide including installing the emulator itself which is going to be running in the background of this Game Base 64 front end. So if you like Commodore 64, I seriously urge you to check this one out today. Okay, first things first, if you're new to my channel, hit notifications, subscribe and like, it helps my channel out a lot, plus you get all Commodore 64 content and various other retro related content that I upload daily these days. So we're talking about Game Base today, Game Base 64 in specific. So let's get into this. What we're going to do first is just head over to the Game Base 64 website. And here we go. So what we're going to do first is just say that everything on here is literally information and images. So if we go to GBC at the top, we can see that there's actually 29,000 entries for Commodore 64 games. And if we click on one of these games, it's going to give us the information about the game. Uh, this one's pretty random, whatever this is, but it's on the database. And when we put our games in eventually, it's going to recognize and it's going to give our front end information and screenshots of that particular game. So we can even search a game. So if I just type into the search bar, for example, Robocop, just press enter. As we can see, the game base has got the information on all three C64 Robocop games. So obviously the first one probably being the best, despite the bugs it had. Uh, but here we go. We got all the information here from uh, the musician of the awesome uh, Jonathan Dunn, uh, Graphician, which is Steve Thompson, and there you go that's all your information plus screenshots of the game and what we're going to do next then is just head over to the download tab and we need to download a few files from game base 64 which is very easy okay so we're going to download the game base front end to begin with so just download here and just give this a few seconds to download and obviously if it doesn't start downloading just click here and if you should see a little pop-up come up saying game base uh, blocks dangerous, just keep it, it's fine. That's just Windows going into panic mode for whatever reason. And we're going to back out of here. And we're also going to download the latest offline version 18 of GBC64. So download again. And again, if it doesn't download, just press on click here. And again, just like the previous file we downloaded, just keep, it's fine. And finally, we're going to go down to screenshots and this is going to put all the screenshots from the game 64 database into the front end so just press download and that was downloading as we can see so whilst that's downloading we're going to head over and download the latest and greatest vice emulator for commodore 64. so we got several options here the one i'm going to be using is the gtk3 version if you're unsure which type of computer you're running, just simply go to your search bar in Windows and type in system information. And under system type, it will tell you there which type of PC you're running. In my case, as we can see, it's a 64-bit base PC. So that's how you find that out. Anyways, let's download GTK3 64-bit. That's going to bring you over to SourceForge. That's fine. Give this a little bit of time to initiate and download. Okay, and this one's now downloading, as we can see, a little bit slow, but it will get there eventually. Okay, so we've got everything we need for now. So what we're going to do is create a new folder on the desktop. I'm going to right click, go to new folder, and I'm going to just call this one game base and just leave it like that. And I'm going to drag in that GB64 file, the XC I've just downloaded. 
as well as game base setup just drag that inside and i'm going to open up game base for now and the first one i'm going to install is game base so game base is a front end and we got the game base 64 which almost turns the game base front end into a c64 front end so let's open up game base setup and you should then see user account control uh, say do what uh, allow changes to your device just press yes that's fine and we next up got the setup wizard for game base front end so let's press next i accept the agreement next next now the next part what i'm going to do is put this into the folder i've just created on my desktop which is named game base so just go to browse and literally just find where your desktop folder is you've just created so normally it will be under users and name of your computer mine's jamie and then from here you'll find desktop if you just open this up and there is my game base folder I've created. So highlight that and press OK. And now as we can see, this is now set to install inside of that game base folder that I've created. So press next and next again, and also create a desktop icon so we can access game base easily. So next and install. And finish and as we can see we've now got two shortcuts appear which will let us go into game base easily once we've done this so next thing we're going to do is install the game base 64 part of this so what we're going to do again is just double left click on that one uh, windows protected your pc just go to more info if you should get this pop up uh, run anyway and again, just like before, allow it to make changes to your device. Just press yes. And I accept the agreement. Next and next again. Now, this part is very important that you put this into the right place. Otherwise, game base isn't going to register the C64 element to it. So what we're going to do then is set the path specifically to go where game base has just been put to. So what I'm going to do then is just go to browse and again, I'm going to look for my desktop. So users, name of my computer is Jamie and desktop and game base. And if you just pull this one down again, so we want the second game base where it says scripts, just, just highlight game base and press OK. Next, install. And that's it. So we can now press finish. What we're going to do next is now open up game base. And here we go. So you've got a jolly little greeting by the sounds of the Sid. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do next then, uh, before we actually press OK to this, we got a little pop up or a window rather saying set up emulators now with Gemus setup wizard so the emulator which is vice which we downloaded earlier which i've got just here uh gtk free vice what i'm going to do is just open this one up a minute and just drag this out onto my desktop cool and now we can delete that zip file of gtk free just right click and delete before i go into this let me just let you know that if we go into that folder gtk3 uh the emulators themselves is in the bin folder and if you scroll down to the bottom you'll find lots of executable files or exe files and vice also supports emulation for mainly all the commodore 8-bit systems you've got the commodore pet commodore plus four uh everything's there pretty much but anyways what we're going to do is go back to the game base and we're going to set up this emulator, device emulator. So uh, leave this on set up my emulators now and press OK. And this is going to bring you into the emulator setup wizard and press start on this. Select the system you would like to set up. Just leave this on Commodore 64. Press next. And next under search path, what we need to do is make sure this is connected or directed to the emulator itself, which is voice. So... If this isn't already on default for you, then go to the little box here and then just find your GTK3 folder, which is your emulator. So it's desktop for me, 
and just highlight the GTK3 folder, press OK, and next. And finally, we've got a select emulator screen. So this version of Vice has already been checked as we can see 3.6.1, that's the latest version of Vice emulator. And just press finish and the wizard has finished updating your setup. Cool beans, close. Now, next thing you're gonna see after this is just make sure uh, you leave this one checked. This just searches on every time you open up game base that it searches for a new version. So totally recommend leaving this one to checked. And the next part, send anonymous usage statistics on startup. I'm gonna personally press no on this or uncheck it, press okay. Now we are in, and what we can do next then is start adding some fun bits to this. So we got a list of games on the side just here, and obviously we can play these because we don't have the games. This is literally from the database, which is giving us information on each one of these games, but we still don't have the games installed. So we're gonna add the fun bits now, and to do this, we're gonna go to tools, and if we go down to GBC version 18 paths, first of all, what we're gonna do is add our games. So I'm gonna go to the little square just here, making sure games is highlighted. So to add your games, if you want a corresponding complete set to match a uh, collection version 18, you can search for that online. But once you've got your set and you want to add it into the game base 64 collection, you just point it to where your games are located. So for me, games and OK. So as we can see, this one is now in place. Now pictures, what I'm going to do is just OK this for now. And earlier on in the video, I showed you the screenshots. So what we're going to do then is go back to that game base folder. And I'm going to make a new folder in here and just call this new folder screenshots. Just open up that screenshots folder and open up that GB64 archive folder. As we can see, we got screenshots. Now just copy and paste everything in there. So zero to Z or zero to Z and drag everything into that screenshots folder you just created. Okie doke, so we now have the screenshots folder inside of game base folder. So let's go back into game base and we can now add our screenshots. So we're going to go to tools again and paths. Now under pictures, we need to link this up to those screenshots, just like we did a minute ago with games. So pictures and again, a square. And from here, we can now find screenshots and just highlight that and press OK, OK again. And as we can see, we have now got screenshots to accompany all these games. Pretty cool stuff. And like I say, this is the database of pretty much every C64 game in the entire history since 1982. So. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal if you're a Commodore 64 nerd like myself. We love this stuff. <laughs> now what we need to do, finally, we need to verify the files we have. So we're going to go to Tools again, verify available files, and just check Games and Pictures and Start. and just press close. And as you can see just a minute ago, uh, where it says play game, that was actually grayed out. But because we verified, we can now play these games. So let's go for uh, randomly choose Missile Busters 2. So what I'm gonna do is press play game and just bear in mind, we still need to set up a controller, but that's very easy. But let's just see if this is gonna play.
And there we go. And we also need to make the emulator itself into full screen. So it opens up in full screen rather than a window mode. So we're inside our game. And what I'm going to do next is just make this go into full screen. So preferences. And then from preferences, you can go to full screen from here. Now, joystick wise, if you just click or left click on joysticks at the bottom, configure joysticks. Uh, key set A and set joystick to the key set B and just make sure allow key set joysticks is checked. So let's configure key set A. So for this, if you just press on each one of these, so north is going to be up on your controller. Obviously, south is going to be down. If I press a cursor on my keyboard, I want to use keyboard for this, just press up. South is obviously going to be down. West is going to be uh, left and east is going to be right. And we also need a fire button and I'm gonna use uh, A for fire and also put a S in for fire too. So uh, make sure save settings on exit is checked. And there we go, we're in. So we got lots of different video settings which we can play around with inside of Vice. So you can either check out my vice setup guide which is more in depth with that or very briefly under preferences if you go down to settings display you'll find lots of different video settings here to play around with uh, but like i say you can follow those on my vice setup guide which is in my playlist for micro emulation but lots of different things to play around with and by default, there was no sound on this. So underneath the settings, if you just go down to sound, which is under audio, just make sure enable sound playback is checked. And lastly, just remember that with the Commodore 64, some games would work from port one, but the majority of them was programmed for port two. So to do this, to swap ports and use those same keys, which we just defined, just go down to joysticks, swap joysticks, and here we go. So let's just put the sound back up for this game. So that's it for the setup guide today on game base and add in the Commodore 64 or game base 64 to it. Uh, it's a very great system and probably the best you'll get out there for a definitive C64 experience. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like. If you're a Commodore 64 geek, you're on the right channel, trust me. Uh, also follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.